Hey everybody, it is Michelle. I am back again with 20 more non-food essential items that I think every prepper should have on hand in some way, shape, or form. What we stock might not be the same as you. These are some of my favorites that we have all the time and whenever I use anything up, I replace it. So, disposable items, plastic cups. You wanna have your disposable plates, napkins, paper towels, things like that. We just had our water shut off for a couple days because of a main break and it's good to have on hand because you don't have extra water to clean up dishes. Batteries. These are, you know, the GoDaddies or similar, it doesn't matter if it's a knockoff. Have lots of batteries of all the kinds that you need for the equipment and gear that you have on hand. We cannot use solar that much here in Michigan because we don't have sun very often. Batteries are essential. This one is from my vehicle. I'm going through and double checking everything, making sure there's no batteries that are going bad. Check your gear. This is the time of year right now. We're heading into winter, so I gotta make sure that everything is situated. Bleach. You wanna have bleach on hand. You can have all the disinfectant things that you want, whatever you store, but bleach you can use for water filtering or trying to clean up some water, I should say. Um, you never know what you're going to have to clean up when poop hits a fan, literally, sometimes. Uh, let's see, laundry soap. No, you don't have to use it just for your laundry. You can use it for other things, you know, no matter what you have to clean up. But if you want to try and keep your clothes clean, if you're washing them by hand, whatever you got to do, Having some laundry soap on hand is something important to me. I know that for sure. Uh, this is just tobacco. No, it's not an essential item to have for everybody, but it does make a very, very good bartering item for people who would be willing to trade a lot of things to get a hold of some of that. So that is a prep that I keep on hand, and uh, that's just preference. You do you, we do us. Dish soap is another one. This is just one that I got from Sam's Club whenever I go. A huge thing. This would be like a year's worth, depending on whenever your disposables run out. Then you never know what we're going to need. And of course, my dog's got to make noise. Speaking of the dogs, <laughs> pet foods. You know, I have two little fur babies. They have some different vitamin things. Canned food is always good really long term. It's good way past the dates for dogs, especially. I mean, if you think about it, they eat just about anything. So make sure you have things on hand for your pets. Lighter fluid of any kind, really. Um, you can use it for, obviously, grilling outside. But if it's poop hits a fan, you really wouldn't want to do that. But it's also good for a fire starter, whether you have a wood fireplace inside your home or not. If you run out of lighters or you only have a couple of matches, whatever it is, you know, just something to have on hand, something to think about having on hand, and or another good bartering item. This little thing here is another one that is an essential item to me. It is a butane refillable. It is, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. These are nice to have on hand because you can use that for starting things that need to be, like if you have a gas stove in your house or if you are going to use your charcoal grill. Whatever it is, that is something to have on hand. In my opinion, this large, it's a large 10 by 25 foot. It's three mil thick. This plastic, if a window gets broken out, I have something that I can either use these screws, which that was a Dollar Tree find long ago, but always having screws on hand for fixing something going on in your house your vehicle or whatever or bartering that's something I like to have on hand same thing drill bits how many people have you know broken a few this I don't remember where I got it from but it was a really good deal for the price I know that for sure because you know I'm frugal so having extra things for your tools and have tools of all kinds that you use on a regular basis that is a good idea same thing with this axe this is also something that could come in handy for maybe personal protection or chopping wood. Whatever situation, you got that on hand, that's great. 
Also, this is a favorite carry knife. I like this brand. And I can do lots of different things with it. So this is something that would be on my plate carrier. That's something that I prefer. You guys might have your favorites. Um, having a socket set, basic tools. Men, women, everybody needs to have some tools to try and fix whatever you can within your ability because you never know when something's gonna break. And I know a lot, a, break, a lot of things break around here. My money pit, I need tools all the time. Um, this is an example. I have an extra doorknob for my screen door because when I have to use this one in the package, it will be like number four <laughs> in two years that is broken because they're not really made here in the US and they're not made good quality. Um, extra cords for all your electronic devices. Have an extra cord on hand. Also, some ammo. Whatever it is that you have on hand, and even if you don't have an item on hand still and you have some ammo left from something, somebody might be looking for that type. So again, it's an essential item for me to have on hand. I'm an A2 friendly person. And if, uh, you know, if you want to, you can use it as a barter item. That is up to you. Hand crank items from back in the day. Power's out. You still need to cook some food. There's all different kinds. You can find hand drills. I got this at a store that has all antique items. Somebody might be looking for an item like that because they don't have anything. And also, um, this is a folding saw. It's a Black & Decker brand. It was actually at the Dollar Tree store for a while. It was like $5, something like that. Something good to have on hand. If you need to chop some wood, you know, take care of some other personal protection things, whatever you gotta do. So this is another 20-ish items of essentials that I think you should be stocking up now. Prices are going up like crazy and everything, but I'm stocking up things that we use on a daily basis as much as I possibly can. So keep on prepping. I hope y'all are doing good. God bless. Take care. I'll see you again real soon.